Welcome to Fair Game. I'm Christine Leahy. My guest today is a musician, mogul, businessman, philanthropist, and a basketball player. There's pretty much no limit to what he can do. Master P is here. Yes, I'm glad to be here. <laughs> Thanks for coming, Master P. Yeah. So I want to talk a little football before we get to some music, because you are from New Orleans, yeah. you're a Saints fan, yeah. and I saw that you challenged YG to a bet for $40,000. I am really hoping that he did not take that bet for your sake. Well, he didn't take the bet, but I didn't challenge him. Oh. One, one of the TMZ reporters seen me and said, would you take a bet because oh. YG better somebody. Now, if that were the case, then TMZ would have to pay the 40K. That's not on you. You know what? But he never stepped up to say he wanted it, so that was a good thing. Lucky for you. Yeah, lucky because, you know, we they cheated us. We got robbed. Well, yeah, you're talking about the pass interference call, yeah. right? The missed one. You didn't feel like they made up for that in overtime? No, because the only thing I think that maybe uh, Sean Payton, uh, Drew Brees, we should have ran the ball. Ran the ball more. Yeah, and just ran the clock out. Did you but that was a horrible call. Everybody know that. It was a definitely a horrible call. Yes. But I do think they made up for it in overtime. I also think you can never let one call dictate whether or not you were going to win. Okay. You got to put your team in a better position than that. I'm going to let you win then. So I win. You won. I'm going to keep that in mind for the rest of this interview. <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> so did you talk to any of the Saints players after this happened? So uh, me and Mike Thomas is pretty close and... Uh, it just was a it was a hard loss for for him, the city, for everybody. But yeah. we're gonna stick with the team. Okay. We love the New Orleans Saints. We'll be back next year. Okay, that's fair. Yes. A lot of people know you as Master P, the rapper, the producer, yeah. but you were also a basketball player. Yeah. Is that true? I, basketball saved my life. It took me out the ghetto, took me to college and uh I've been playing basketball my whole life. People don't know it. Before I was into the music, basketball was my way out. And, and, you know, I play with a lot of the top guys that played in the NBA. So a lot of people know me as a basketball player first. You played preseason games in Charlotte and Toronto? Yeah, both. What was that like? You also played in a game, actually, with Vince Carter and Tracy McGrady. Played in a lot of games with them. So what, what's that, 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 was, that like? was my teammates. So uh, did, did, what do they think of you at the time? Like you're a basketball player or you're kind of starting to become a rapper? What do they nah, think? I mean, when I'm on a basketball court, I'm just a beast. Oh. So I'll check anybody, you know. Uh, like literally? You yeah. Okay. yeah I, like, I'll go check the center if I need to. Me and Charles Oakley, was, we was homies. What position did you play? I played perm guard and shooting guard, but, okay. you know, when you... How tall are you? 6'4". Oh, damn. Yeah. But when you, you know, it's all in the heart. If you got the heart, like I, like some of the guys, you know, I play with Kevin Willis, you know, and I check anybody in practice. It don't matter. So could you, if you put all your focus on basketball, could you have like really played in the NBA? I was there. You know how hard it is oh, to I, get I, to the I, NBA. Of course. I'm, listen, I'm not discrediting that. You're a great saying, basketball so, player. So, but when you go back and look at the highlights yeah. and say, it's hard to score baskets in the NBA if you, you don't, if you don't belong there. Yes. So if you're the last cut, that means that that could have been anybody. So if you're the last cut, you really could be in the NBA. For sure. You know, it's a, people don't realize the two a days, the conditioning, and all the stuff you got to do to prepare to be a pro athlete. So, you know, I don't know any other entertainer to do this, what I was able to do and create. Well, that's actually what I was going to ask you. Are there any other rappers that you know that could play basketball? I mean, not that I know personally. Like, I mean, there's a lot of rappers that play basketball, but on a pro level, it's a it's a different game. You've seen a lot of things, I'm imagining, in the hip-hop world. Yeah. What did you see that maybe even blew your mind in the NBA? One time I was going to fight Anthony Mason. You okay. Know, you know, God bless the dead. I mean, it's like, this, was, this guy was so big, and he used to just, I mean, if Anthony Mason said something to you, you was afraid. And so, you know, one time I had to stand up to him. And I did. I liked him. We ended up being friends. Why too, did you have to stand up to him? Because he said he didn't want nobody to touch him in practice. Well, that's and not I'm right. I'm like, we playing basketball. Yeah. You're going to get touched. And me being from New Orleans, I'm going to make sure I touch you. And I, I fouled him first. Uh -huh. So he was like, little man, when we get in the back, we're going to fight. And I'm like, no, let's fight right now. Oh. And so you fought on the court. Yeah. But it, we didn't because he was like, man, I like you. You got hard. Okay. He respected you. Yeah. 
I, sometimes, I like that. sometimes you've got to stand your ground. Uh, there's an urban legend that you beat Michael Jordan in a pickup game. You know what? It was at his uh, Jordan camp. So Romeo was wearing. Your son. Yeah, my son was wearing my shoes, and Jordan was like, "What shoes are they?" He told him, "You know, that's my dad's shoes." He said, "You can't wear them in here." Oh. So when I came down, they was playing a pickup game. So I'm like, "All right, if I win." He keep the shoes on. So it was like five of us, uh, Metal World Peace, a couple other guys. I had mostly college guys on my team, and he had all NBA guys. Uh -huh. And we ended up winning, and, you know, he ended up sitting on the sideline at his camp. Wow. And all the kids was tripping. They got, wow. It's, 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 uh, did you win Dad of the Year that you beat Michael Jordan? And if I check with Michael Jordan, would he say that this is true? He probably he probably won't say okay, it that okay. many, but I think he I think he will if they got footage of this. They probably have footage of this. Well, let's talk about the kids because I think a lot of people don't know this about you. You're doing for youth basketball yep. what like Snoop does for youth football. Yes. And you coached AAU. You coached yep. Demar Derozan. Yes. Did you know at the time how great he was going to be? Well, in seventh grade, I realized that he was special the way jump and I say this kid is going to be something special but he need to work and he put the work in so our, our program is Cal Supreme one of the top AAU programs in California and we've been doing it for a while and and just so happened DeMar DeRozan played for me Brandon Jennings Lance Stevenson and now my my kids are playing for me Hersey Miller and Mercy Miller and to be able to let my kids know look what DeMar and them was able to do and you put this type of work in, you know, you could make it yourself. So it's a blessing to be able to not only help my kids, but help all these inner city kids that 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 our program with me and Gary, we able to, you know, bridge that gap. We say we want this more than basketball. We take the kids fishing. We do all kind of things, take them on the road. You know, you, you're able to see other things besides the ghetto. And that's that's what, you know, my coach saved my life. And I'm hoping to be that coach to save these kids' lives. Was Lance Stevenson blowing in people's ears back then? He was tough. <laughs> he was tough. Okay. Lance was tough. That was all I can say, he was tough. Okay. Even back then, he was tough. He didn't back down from nobody. And, uh, you know, sometimes you, you got to be a warrior because you're going to walk mm -hmm. every night. Mm -hmm. And you got to be a warrior. So, And that's how I was taught the game, you know, be a soldier, you know.